started. What was it that wanted you, that was inside of you that wanted that made you want to make perfume and to create perfume? I think that it was always inside me because, as you know, my story. My grandmother was a nurse from Parma. And then eight years ago, I started just for joke. So anytime uh, when uh, I travel around the world for my ex uh, work, my ex jobs, and <laughs> yeah, I was a marketing consultant. I am a little bit crazy. Oh, really? I oh, did, wow. didn't know. I, I didn't know that. I ah. didn't know you were marketing consultant. Ah. And um, then when I was 30 years old, I said I want to do what I like best. So I started to paint, to create jewelry, to make my personal fragrances. And also, um, when I travel, I all, always wanted to find a new, a new smell. And I want, and I, when I felt a big emotion, I had to, to watch that. <laughs> and, when, and I would like that people got the same emotion like me. So that's why I started to do pregnancy. And I'm always looking for the nice raw material just to reproduce them. But any fragrance of mine are a part of me, of myself. Can you tell us what some, some of your favorite raw materials are that, that you work okay, with? I'm from Italy. Yes. I like asparagus, so citrus, uh, lemon, uh, grapefruit, uh, orange, but lemon always. So when also flowers. Flowers. So, and then the main. Main. So, so when you start to think about creating a new fragrance, does it start with a story in your head? Does it does it start with a with, with notes? What what no. is it that starts? I started there? from my, from here, from from inside of you, from inside. From, yes, so, from your gut, right? <laughs> <laughs> so there is no. St I don't think about anything. So when I face something, maybe the last collection is part of the high cuisine. It's one of my pictures. So sometimes I, I am sitting down, eating in the restaurant. Sometimes some places, some dishes in the Some is that, that is one of my favorites. So, so it comes from inside. Now, do you make fragrance for your for things that you love, or do you also think about what? What the consumer might love to never, never think about the consumer. I create for myself, and I hope the people love that one because I'm not okay. I was a marketing consultant, but now I'm an artist, a creator, creative people, creative girls. What's the newest thing that you have now? Okay, the first thing was Tiamo collection of flowers. Do you remember it means yes. uh, I love you in Italian language? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, from the first line, the best sold is Tuli. Is a flower name, but there is no flower inside in the tulip. Yeah. So, so it's just the interpretation. Interpretation of mine is uh, it was created in Sicilia. I one of the best, the most uh, island of Sicily. So you can smell the the sun, the hair during summer time when it's very hot, very warm. Okay. The second one is uh, another part of my world. So you know that I'm playing in the theater. And so uh, I recreate the emotion that I feel uh, when I am in the theater, sometimes on the stage, uh, sometimes in uh, the, uh, how they say, uh, the, not the restaurant, where I, I make a makeup room. Uh, he knows Bell Antonio. Everybody yes, knows Bell Antonio. Yes, great... And this is the atmosphere of the, that you can see, you can smell, you can also touch your body when you are in this at the foyer, at the Teatro Reggio di Parma. It's one of the most famous uh, theater of opera. The Verdi is our master. So I remember when I was young, my father waiting, uh, we were waiting to buy tickets, he was a uh, smoking pipe. Uh, and you can smell the coffee behind the bar. So that's why I mix together coffee and tobacco. Now you know the story because I hope to do sometimes also in the States. Uh, the last collection is called Profumo e Gusto e Libertà. It's always, and that means? It means fragrance and taste liberty. Ah, okay. So, uh, and uh, okay. Some people say that they are gourmand, they are not gourmand. The inspiration are coming out from some dishes, but it's not gourmand. So we can 
is made together. So one of these is called salissimo. It means very salty. Because, because it is rice, yeah. licorice, yeah. saffron. Oh, let's, 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 let's try it. Now, salissimo. Salissimo. And it's interesting when you talk about the taste and smell, because 75% of what you taste is really what you're smelling. It's the so, same, you know. Yeah, so we find a place here that doesn't have anything. It's hard to find. <laughs> Wait, no, no, let's cover it. Right you know, I, I, if you want, I don't know if you know the story. My teacher, my master, explained to me if you want to smell immediately, you have to spray here. Oh, this is really interesting. What's that? Rice. Wait, the top note I'm getting, I could be wrong. Because it's, it's almost like anise. I was going to say anise and licorice. Oh, this is from Calabria. Yeah, this is amazing. It's the best. So we launched this in November in North Europe. It's like Europe. a sambuca or something. This is like a sambuca. Maybe, maybe. It's like it's a sambuca. Come on, oh, there is it. <laughs> this is really great. It's it's like a sambuca. Yeah, but there is it. Smell it on me. Yeah, because oh, some this is my kind of fragrance. I gotta tell you. Um, That's why I, I, I love took things. for you and then Daniel got it. <laughs> well, I I need to get one too. Okay. I will send to you in yeah. the okay. Um It's just really fragrance. Yeah. And I love, love the picture of pictures. Of Always me when I was young and beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 great. This this is my fragrance. I have to have one. I, I know your tea because you love my stecca. Yeah, and and I love aromatic. And, and this this is amazing fragrance. Wow. And you know what? Some of my best customers in Italy did it. We did we did the two. Uh, we did uh, a party. They create ice cream with the same taste of my fragrances. So it was. Oh, I, 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 I would love to do that. That, that, that sounds amazing. It's a nice experience. Yeah. This is really wonderful. So yeah. this spirit comes from this a dish it was made with rice, saffron, and then instead of the cheese, the chefs take the liquor, the, the, the big block of liquid they fix on the, that I said this is my friend. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. I think it's nice to do some party with the ice cream. Oh, so we yeah. did with this also, the new one are chocolate and rose, chocolate and basil. Oh, this is, this, this, this is just my, if, my kind I of I this no samples. I, I, I will be wearing this <laughs> for the next few days. Um, so, so, so let me ask you what, what, what you think about this show that we're at. Is it, is, is this I have to be uh, honest with you? Yes, or? be very honest. Because I already spoke with her. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, is a strategic choice of my, my small company. Don't exhibit anywhere. I mean, no fragrance, no everywhere right, right. anymore. Because I think that there are too many people here that are not niche. I want to be niche in the quality niche, in the brand niche, in anywhere. So I'm distributed in a small few places. In Italy, only big cities. The very niche jobs. So my customers started to do shop, to do business, uh, niche business 20 years ago. What does niche mean to you? What makes a fragrance niche? Niche, first of all, must be quality, innovation in the creation. I mean, of the fragrances. So you must have new raw material, new combination, new mix, a new way of production. You know that I produce with um, hydrogen. Any of my uh, fragrances now I produce uh, with hydrogen, with a small little quantity of alcohol. Any of them are aged into big barrels, like wine. So this is, and there is a story behind uh, the brands. A lot of people cares a lot about the package. I don't care about the package. A lot of customers, uh, I'm not exhibiting here, but I met a lot of my customers from North, uh, Italy, from Germany, from Norway, from Spain, uh, and always they say to me, we buy your fragrance because we love the fragrance, but the packaging, anybody loves my package, only young people, for me young people are from 18 to 25, and a lot of, of my customers are from that age, and the last thing, you have to be in only a few places, no, only few. so it's in, in not that many stores and using high quality fragrance and high quality um, uh, uh, materials.